Good evening and welcome to London by night. Well, we're out. We literally arrived today and uh, we, are, we are heading, well, we're heading out because it's too early to go to bed, but we are shattered. So we're going in search of the Harry Potter um, photo opportunity that you can get at King's Cross Station. Now, what can I say about London so far? It is mental, it is mental. And we've tried using Google Maps and it's useless. So we're sort of getting lost, aren't we? Yeah. But we will find it. <laughs> so stay tuned. We're going to head to King's Cross and we're going to go and find the Harry Potter platform nine and three quarters. Get a photo, which he doesn't want to do. But we've got nothing else to do and it's too early to go to bed. So come on, come with us. So we're on search for the Harry Potter thing where you can get a picture taken and we're at King's Cross Station. Look at this place. Love that beautiful big poppy as well. Fabulous, man playing piano. I don't know if he's just a member of the public. Look at that. Oh, services may be slippery, they say. And then the other one was about pickpocketers. Look at that. Right, if you're ever looking for this place, um, well, don't use Google Maps because you'll never get there. Don't try and ask anybody because it seems that people that live in London don't actually know where anything is in London. It's madness. <laughs> We're still looking, nothing signposted. I mean, this is meant to be one of the attractions. Um, but yeah, I can't find anything about it. We'll go this way and see. Right, so here we are. We eventually found it. This is where you can get your picture taken at platform nine and three quarters. Look at the queue. Jack's saying no, but I'm saying it's took us this long to find it. We're bloody doing it, so come on. And there's a little Harry Potter shop there as well. Come on, we may as well do it, haven't we? We may as well have a little look and give it a go. It don't look that bad. Right then, we're in the queue, look. There it is, over there. The man just said it's gonna take an hour. Jackie's going absolutely mad. He's not happy about it at all. But I wanna get a picture. Yes, I do wanna get a picture of you and a picture of me. And I think these that are watching this video wanna see it as well. Right then, so, when you get there, it says up to an hour's wait. It's not, it's about 20 minutes max. We're nearly at the front. But look at this place, it's absolutely huge. He's still not happy, but we're going in anyway. So it looks like what they do is they take the photo and then once, uh, well, you can go and buy the photo, look. And then once they've taken the photo, you go through that door there, which is to the shop. Or you can take a photo on your mobile phone and not pay for it. But it's up to you, isn't it? It's a tourist trap, but they must be making money hand over fist. What a magic, magic thing. <laughs> Jack's wondering why they wear the scarf. So they wear the scarf and then they lift it up and take a photo quickly. And it looks like the scarf is flying in the air. And Jack's wondering how they get it right every time. And I said that this guy here has probably done this a million times and just times it perfect every single go. But it's a very popular thing to do, look. People are just passing through and just doing it to kill time. If they've got to wait for a train, they may as well have a little bash here at the platform nine and three quarters, haven't they? <laughs> right then, so you get to choose your scarf as well as to which house that you're going to be in. So you get to choose that before you take your photo. Now the hold up is whether you go with two people or you just go on your own. And that's what's taking a little bit of time. Some people like to go just solo. But it's lots of fun. So we're right at the front and you can actually choose which different sort of stance that you want to do. Fighting, funny, friendly. And that's exactly the same, but in a different language, I think. Okay. 
Right then, 37 minutes that was out of King's Cross and we're through here. So let's have a little look what goes on in here. So this is the shop, look at this. So this is where you get to see the photos. Wow. So you actually get a letter and you actually get a photo as well. So we're gonna have a little look, see if we can find it first. And it's how much? Four photos, 20, two photos, 15, and a single photo, 10. So they're certainly making some serious dollars. Right, the photo weren't very good, so we ain't buying it anyway. And we never planned on it anyway, did we? I bet I've got a better photo on this camera. And we got a good video as well. So this is the shop, let's have a look. So there is so much, isn't there, look? You can literally buy everything. 6.95 for a keyring, so I dread to think how much the hoodies are. 14 euros for a hat. It's not actually that bad, really. 12.95 for a mug. Come on, let's get out of here. It's not like Mr. Travel On's gonna spend anything, is he? You know I'm a tight git. But it is fun, look, but it's rammed. Look how much pe money people are spending. Photos, merchandise, the lot. Fabulous. Right then, that was it. We are absolutely knackered now. We are going back to the hotel to sleep. Was it worth it, Jack? No. <laughs> I think it was worth it for the video and the photo. If you're willing to spend 10 to 20 euros on a photo, then fair there you go. It was a 37 minute wait. It wasn't an hour. I thought it was a bit of fun. And uh, we got a video out of it anyway, didn't we? Right, we're going. I'll see you very soon in the next video with some more London updates. Jack, say goodbye. Bye. Let's get out of here.